Now it's time for the next edition of Nightmare Dating Profiles. And while it seems that they are coming quicker and quicker, it's like these men just don't learn. They refuse to make better profiles and be better people. All right, y'all, so blanket trigger warning. Put down any hot beverages, beverages in general, or finish swallowing your snacks. Push everything to the side. That's the blanket trigger warning. Coming out the gate strong, we have Tony, who's 36. Tony has the Zoolander lips or duck lips for the little bit younger ladies. And I am not particularly sure that Tony is for us, but still, let's get into it. He says, don't really do the time wasting in BS games and see through all that, all that. So come correct and no drama. I swear to God, if within the first two messages, you ask me what I do for a living, I'm going to assume your pocket watch, pocket checking me and I'm going to just next you. Sucker free over here. You earning everything coming from me, I promise. So choose wisely before swiping right on me. When they put the, like, he's sitting here in a car without a shirt. He's doing these duck lips. He's very aggressive towards women. I do not think that he is for us. I just don't. He's saying, talking about somebody's pocket checking him. I think that he's talking about the men that are pocket checking. That's just me. You guys can weigh in on Tony, who's 36. I told you we're coming out the gate strong. And now we have Eric, who's 51. And he has all these goals in his mouth, like they were doing back in the 99s into the 2000s. And y'all know that this picture smells like metal. I apologize. Like burn some sage or some incense or something. But he says, I, I am a good, current-hearted person, like to have fun. I'm a I'm a good current hearted person I like to have fun. So keep that in mind with Eric, who's 51. There is a lot going on in this picture with that ceiling. I am so confused. I'm totally confused. Now we got all meeting. He says that he's 23, but this looks like a middle aged dad. Are they getting older? It, this dude definitely looks older than 23. He says to this woman, I'd break every single chair in this world so you can sit on my face. He sent this to a woman as a as an icebreaker type of message. And that is completely inappropriate, but it's also inappropriate for all meeting to be 23 looking like a middle-aged dad. Now we have Linnell. Linnell sent a message to this woman saying that your, look how he spelled your, your thick AF. And yeah, she says, so are you. And that definitely got a giggle out of me. You can see the the boobage popping off. You can see it, even though this picture is small. You could tell that he has the man boobage popping off. I I don't know why they they won't why won't they just stop sending these types of messages? <laughs> it is not flattering. Women don't like this. Okay, so now we have Tori who's 33. He put drip demon here, drip demon. Now, I don't know if he's going to make someone drip, if he needs an IV drip, if the drip is his shoes, you know, like their accessories. That's what the young people like to say. But he just came out the gate talking about what's your number, looking like this, having the nerve. But then you see the nerve even more when you see the picture that's, that's lit and you see that his head looks like a misshapen, um, what is that, milk dud. A milk dud that's kind of one of the milk duds that they threw away because it didn't meet the standards. <laughs> but why, why do they look like this in their pictures where they just look very, very angry? He probably is angry because his head looks like a misshapen milk dud. Now we got Michael, who's 58. Michael is 58. On dating sites, you know that he left Marge alone because he got tired of Marge's casseroles. But Marge at least cared enough about Michael to make him some casseroles. She cared. And he thought that he was going to get the younger ladies because the red pillars got these older men thinking that they age like fine wine when they're aging like um, spoiled milk, like getting all the curds and whey, all lumpy, like he's lumpy. You see all the lump lumps. But Michael, who's 58, left Marge, even though Marge was a good gal. I, I know. 
and he's sending these young ladies, these young tenderonies messages on dating apps. This person says, you real woman too much for most men, not me. So he thinking he gonna get this young, thick tenderoni lady, even though, yeah, she's obviously not checking for him, but he says, love and caring, no racism. Um, black, black women or white don't matter. Love outdoors, have nursery and homeless ministry, no games, not here for X, but a long-term relationship, no drama, family problems, other men, simple, loving, caring woman looking for and 420. Okay. The key to love is first Corinthians. What? He's putting a Bible verse in here. So with love, all will work out the greatest gift of all. He, the greatest gift of all would also be learning how to use punctuation marks. That would be great. Grammar and punctuation marks go a long way. But Marge is the one that usually proofread his, his messages before he sent out his emails on his AOL account. Now we got Ebenezer, who's 34. He, he says, I make my own rules. Daring, adventuresome, and just a little headstrong. I move fast. Can you keep up? Seeking a cute, kind-hearted, feminine lady, self-indulging fun haver, adventure taker, and a bougie food lover. Can you be a trophy wife material and make daddy proud? Make daddy proud. And he's five foot five. And he has all of this going on, talking about he is daring and a daddy and headstrong. And I need him to stop because he has just a little bit too much audacity in his packaging. So here's a better picture of Ebenezer. What kind of name Ebenezer is, I don't know. But he also has the IG, his IG posted, King Ed the Great, because facts. And he looks like he comes with the facts. All right, now we got Antoine, who's 36. And Antoine likes to use emojis. You know when they use emojis that that says something about them? I'm not exactly sure what it says when you're 36 using emojis like this. But he says, cool, laid back ninja, looking for my person. This site really trash, but whatever. 90 day fiance, if you, if you got pretty feet and smell good, I love you already. I work, have my own car in place, if that's important. Get to know me, you'll love it here. Life too short for batch. If you know, I'm sorry, if you know you cat trash, don't even look at me. Um, ain't ain't no easy eggplant this way. My baby, this thing, grade A, can't be passing it out. Let me cook for you and rub your feet. <sighs> and he's for all races. So ladies, you know, if all of you all like it when people have no grammar and use a bunch of emojis, Antoine, who's 36, is for you. All right, now we got Encia Malix, who's 55. He is 55, and his profile picture has these two ladies and this kid, which is very interesting. But he says, I'm simple man of simple logic. I'm an older man seeking younger ladies because I want to make a family. Okay, I'm self-employed, looking for a very intelligent and compatible female of nearly same IQ, Faith in Yahweh agrees with science and knowledge always, must possess ego and emotional strength, be self-aware and have understanding so we can share. I'd feel safer if she have more. Ephraim is my name. I need a heterosexual female boss who really knows right from wrong. No scams, please. Thank you. Okay, so I had to underline no scams, please, because when somebody is a scammer, they would see that and be like, oh, okay, he asked nicely that we not scam him. And so I'm sure, totally sure that's going to keep the scammers away <laughs> because he said no scams, please. So here's a better picture of this gentleman who's 55 wearing a Fat Farm um, t-shirt, Fat Farm. I'm not sure when the last time that was being sold. Um, he has these two young ladies in the picture looking for young ladies because he is looking to start a family. And uh, he's, he does not want the scammer. So keep that in mind. If you're wanting to connect, he's available, young ladies. Just no scammers. All right, y'all, join the conversation. Let me know what you think of all of these. Who was the best? Who, who got you? Um, don't forget to like, comment, and share.